Hey guys, welcome back. So, I promised that I would be making a project with the Bond Crafter uh, 1 to 1 epoxy resin, but this time I was going to actually use my equipment, so that's what we're doing this time. So what I have here is something that I haven't made in a while. This is my uh, faceted uh, jar mold with lid. And you can see that it's very detailed. It's got lots of little um, facets all over it. And over here I have six ounces of my Bond Crafter 1 to 1 epoxy that I have added some ghost green uh, mica powder from Eye Candy. And I have run it through the debuffler for about 10 minutes. So, that being said, one thing that I am going to do is because this is so detailed and so faceted, um, I am going to go around and spray some 99% uh, alcohol in it just to try to get into those facets uh, to keep bubbles out of it. Uh, big bubbles, you know, little bubbles I'm expecting, but big bubbles I would like to <clears throat> uh, keep out of there. Get down in its little nubbins for the lid. Now the container itself is three and a half ounces. The lid is two and a half. So that's why I made six ounces of resin. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this poured in. And I'm going to go slow. see it blooping out. So while that's settling for a minute, we're going to grab our lid. Get the little knob filled in and then go in from the bottom and baby fish mouth. Mm -hmm. Try to get any bubbles out of there that may be hiding. Tap, tap. Okay. Move back over here, see how we're doing. Give everybody a squish. Get my silicone pokey tool, go around the edge. Because this does have a lip of the right angled persuasion. So I want to make sure that try to encourage any bubbles that may want to stick around those right edges. Cure up nice and beautifully gorgeous. And we will see what they look like when they come out. 
So I will see you guys then. <laughs> see you soon. Alright, so these guys are ready to come out. So let's demold them and see how it goes. Looks like I got a couple of little bubbles around the rim, but that's uh, my fault for not going around the rim well enough. little topper out. I'm going to need to spray some alcohol down in there because it's got a thin, thin neck and a big old head. <laughs> Get that loosened up. And I knock over everything in the process. Oh, isn't that the Look at that beautiful ghost color. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Love. All right, now and I found that the easiest way for me to demold this is just to get it folded over and then just roll it down like a pair of pantyhose. Even though I don't think I've worn pantyhose in a million years. But still, you get my meaning. There we go. Twist to get the inside out. And there she is. Isn't that lovely? And I don't see. Do you guys see? Okay, there are a couple of little bubbles around the top and bottom, but that's really neither here nor there. But do you guys see any bubbles? Oh, there's one. Oh, one. One tiny little bubble. That is just gorgeous. And the lid goes on the top. And here you have a lovely lidded dish. So, good job, Bond Crafter. I am very pleased. Very pleased. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I look forward to uh, hearing your opinions on our beautiful little lidded dish. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. So, thank you guys so much for being here. Really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.